Joining us now over Skype is CivilBeat.com reporter Chad Blair. Chad, good morning. Good morning, the, the multi-talented Kenny Choi. <laughs> Not as talented as the Ryan Kalei Suji. I can't drive and do a live shot. Maybe I'll try that in the next time <laughs> I'm out there. Well, let's talk about uh, what Civil Beat has been working on this morning. I know uh, one of your most popular stories from last year was about salaries of state workers, and you guys are doing an update on that. Tell me about that story this morning. That's right. We have 2013 figures for a lot of positions in state government. And uh, no surprise, there's more money this time around having to do with the restoration of those pay cuts that the governor and the legislature worked on for the private sector unions. So not only restoring the pay cuts, but actually pay raises on top of that. So 2013 salaries uh, are bigger than they were in 2012. There's actually more positions, more people working for our state government, too. Uh, well, another story that's featured in Civil Beat uh, today uh, it relates to the solar panels that people are putting up. We've seen it over the last several years, maybe even decades. But uh, there's some kind of advancement in technology that could help the situation. Explain what that's all about. Well, the industry has really been booming here in the islands for so long, putting a lot of people uh, into jobs, lots of money going into the state. The problem is, is the industry has kind of peaked. There's only so much capacity for the utility grids to be able to absorb the energy produced from those solar panels. The breakthrough may be that there are now new high storage batteries that may actually let people get off the grid and use that money themselves, uh, use that energy rather, and be self-sustaining. So possibly a bright light for Hawaii's solar industry. And tell us the, uh, the last story that you talked about, uh, about the Marshall Islands and one of uh, its citizens there relating to reimbursement from the U.S. government. Yeah, this is quite a story. This is about Darlene Keju Johnson. She's a Marshallese woman who fought for compensation for those nuclear tests that happened in the 40s and 50s and 60s. She died in 1996, but her husband, Gift Johnson, he's from Mandro, he has a new book that's coming out. He'll be touring Hawaii actually next month to talk about that. There's a terrific video on our site that features a video of Darlene speaking to the World Council of Churches. Chad Blair, the multi-talented Chad Blair, waking up early this morning to talk about all your stories. I don't know how you do it, Chad. I don't either, Kenny. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us here this morning. We'll uh, talk to you again uh, later good. this Bye -bye. week. Thank you. We well, can find all the stories that Chad just talked about on civilbeat.com.